Hey everybody, it's me, Hetty, and it's my husband's hand. He doesn't want to be in the video, but he's in the video, see? There is a Mr. Hetty. So, anyway, I just finished the uh, showing you how I can my hamburger meat video, and I'll edit that up, and you'll probably have seen that already by the time you see this. I'm hot. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see, yeah, look, I got, <laughs> oh, he's too funny. You think I've heard that joke more than once, maybe in the last, right at 30 years we've been together. <laughs> but anyway, let's just get to it. Hey everybody, it's me, Hetty, and it recently came to my attention that I had not shared my mama's amazing southern style potato salad. And so I will do that. I actually have several potato salads, but it's Good Friday and I'm making my mama's potato salad, southern style. All right, let's get started. I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna have to do a little prep work. Um, look at my egg. These are on the small side. These are my olive eggers. And uh, so I'm going to do seven eggs. I would probably normally just do three or four if they're large. But I'm just going to make up the difference. And I'm doing seven. Aren't they cute? Look at them, y'all. Just look at that. I'm so proud of that. I really, really, really am. Aren't they pretty? It's almost like they're natural Easter eggs. That's that. Uh, I don't think the camera's picking that up. But that is got a pink tone. Kind of a pinky beige. And yes, y'all, my nails look terrible. I have got to give myself a manicure. Hadn't had time. All right, and due to my health, my nails are in really bad shape anyway. They chip all the time, they break. That's why I had to cut them all off because uh, I broke two of them. So I'm not gonna have some short and some long, so I just matched them. Okay, let's get to it. I'm trying not to ramble. I love y'all though, and I love talking to you. Uh, I am gonna make a little mini announcement here. Not quite there yet. I'm going to start streaming again. I've done it a few times, but I really feel like sometimes things would come across better if it was live stream. Okay, now, got a sack of red potatoes. I think these are, what is that, three pounds? No, five, five pounds. Uh, I'm not using all the celery. I'm gonna use a few stalks. Gotta clean that up. I'm gonna boil my eggs, and I've shown y'all how to Hard boil your eggs, and these are small, so the time won't take as long. And I've got an onion or two. These are vidalias, but they're very small. It's early season. We're not at the peak yet. So I've got that. And I got salad cubes somewhere, but I can't find them. I'm tired of looking. So I'm just using sweet relish. Of course, not this whole jar. I've got to open a jar is why. And olives. And it's going to be to taste. I'm going to slice these up too, off camera. All right, and then, of course, we're going to have a dressing. I do not have the dressing stuff out yet because I'll show you that when I make it up. But it's going to be mayonnaise, Creole, or Dijon mustard, if you want to. You can use plain yellow. It's going to have some, a little, just a little bit of garlic powder in it and then a little sugar. And then that's kind of to your taste. And you really kind of want to mix your dressing up. So I'm probably, I'm just showing you these ingredients. Probably going to switch around. That way I can be boiling these and getting these ready to hard cook so I can time them so I can peel them and chop them up. So that's why I got this stuff out first. But we are going to make the dressing first while these are boiling and these are cooking. All right. I'll see you in just a second when I switch everything around. Okay. I want to talk to you a little bit about the potatoes. Now, a lot of people use russet potatoes, but I am telling you, red potatoes make the difference. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to peel mine. I'm old school. Don't want all that crap. I think uh, I don't care for the skins in my potato salad. I don't mind potato skins with other things, but in my potato salad, nope, it's getting peeled. All right, now, I started putting a little water in the bottom of the pan, but then I want to tell you something. Potatoes need salt. So I'm throwing some kosher salt in this water. Now I'm gonna top these up here so it's got boiling room so if it boils down a little bit, it'll be all right. All right, so I just threw in, I don't know, that was probably two tablespoons 
it's kosher I'm using. If you're using regular table salt, I'd probably go about a tablespoon and a half. And just throw that. You're going to cover it with, with your water. You're going to bring it up to a boil. You're going to let it go until it's fork tender. I'll try to catch that moment on camera for you. Of course, that'll be over at the stove. Anyway, I wanted to mention that. Potatoes have to have salt, guys, if you want it to be good. That is. Okie dokie, folks. Instead of dirtying up a bunch of uh, different little prep bowls, there's no reason for that. So, we're going to mix our dressing up first. Oh, and by the way, look, I found my salad cubes. I've gotten where I like those salad cubes. Uh, you know, if you got your own sweet pickles or dill pickles, whatever you're going to use, you naturally, if your mama hand chopped them, then that's probably what you do. But we didn't. That's one thing we didn't do. We did a lot, but chopping pickles wasn't one of them. All right. It, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't, don't misunderstand me. I'm just simply saying we did not. I have, when I was out of relish and didn't realize it, especially when the kids were little, forgot to put it on my list. But anyway, moving on. So I got about, I'm going to start out with this. Sometimes I have to make a little second batch to add to it. But I won't know until I get all the potatoes chopped up and peeled and all that. All right, so I'm starting out with a cup and a half of mayonnaise. I got about a tablespoon and a half right here. Uh, uh, Creole mustard, Cajun mustard. Um, if you can't get that, and a lot of people can't, I never could find any up in Ohio. So you can use Dijon. I've done it in trillion million times. I know I say that a lot, don't I? Okay, and right here I got about two and a half. It's kind of going two and a half tablespoons of mustard. I'm known to definitely adjust this. These are not exact amounts. It's to your taste, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. I have some salt, which will be to taste. I have some garlic powder that I'll add, and that'll also be to taste. And it's not southern style unless you have some sugar in it. And of course, we're going to have black pepper on it. All right. So that's about it for the dressing. It's pretty simple. I do not overload my just classic southern style potato salad. There are many salads out there. If y'all been a viewer a long time, you know my husband's from Ohio. I learned some stuff from my mother-in-law. Totally different area, so stuff's different. So I'm just going to mix this up. All right. I know kind of what to add. Um, I've got about three tablespoons in here. I'm probably going to add about half first. Then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and add oh I'll try half a teaspoon of garlic. I know I'm going to add some salt. Not much because remember we'll salt at the end the whole potato salad. And I'm going to add just a little pepper. And of course, just like the salt, we'll actually salt and pepper the potato salad at the end. And I am working around tripod, guys, so, you know, bear with me. And that's about all there is, too. A lot of times I'll go back in. Now, Daddy, he, my Daddy, he just loved extra mustard in his. So, I got to where I liked it, too. So, I'm going to taste this first. And I'm not, I'll go right back in with mustard, you know, or whatever I need. Oh, man, that is perfect right there. I cannot believe it. All right. The reason I made this first, it's going to go in the fridge while everything else is boiling. i got to peel them, got chopped celery, slice up the green olives. And while I'm doing all that, these flavors will be melting in the fridge. Okay, so when I get everything prepared and the potatoes are done, I'll give you a shot when they're coming to a boil, then we'll start timing them. These are not up to a boil yet. They're getting there. Look at that. They're wanting to do something, but we're not quite there yet. After they come to a boil... I'm going to start checking them at 10 minutes. And when I can stick a fork in there, we're done. If it, you know, fights you a little bit, you'll have to start checking it about every minute or two. And then that way you don't overdo your potatoes. And, uh, sorry about the tripod. Then you don't overdo the potatoes and end up with potato salad mush. All right? Unless you like it like that. If you like that, sometimes people mash half of them. And leave the others cube and that that's a preference that's okay i'm just like i tell you how many times i'm just showing you how i do it all right you can see the eggs are over there just about to come to a boil then i'll cover take them off the heat and turn them off right up here somewhere i'll uh try to remember to stick a little link for the perfect hard boiled egg all right soft hard 
soft, medium, hard, however you like them. Okay, now my little small chicken eggs, it's not going to take my normal time because they're little tiny eggs, so they'll be done pretty quick. All right, I will see y'all when this comes to a boil. I hope you can see this. This has just come up to a big, fast rolling boil. Now I'm going to time this for 10 minutes and then I will check it. And then if it, they're not done to my liking, I will continue to check it about every one and a half, two minutes, something like that. Because I'll just be kind of standing right here by it. All right. And so we'll do that. And I'll tell you how long it took mine. All right. Now I'm going to keep coming back just to check them with a fork. I mean, here, let me get a fork. I don't think you have to see me do that, do you? Boom, boom, boom. You get the idea. All right. So, there you go. Time it. I'll be back when they are actually done. Okay, everybody. These are fork tender. This steam is hot. See that? Went right in. Came right out. And it did take mine 12 minutes to get where I wanted them. See that? They're perfect. So now, what I'll have to do, this is heavy. I'm going to take this over to my sink. Drain out all the hot water I can immediately. I want to stop the cooking process. Uh, fire's out. Now I just turned the fire out. Should have done that before I started recording. And I'm going to drain this and I'm going to cover it several times with cold water. I'm going to keep draining them. When I'm done, I'll put them in a colander, but that's going to be a minute because I want them to sit in cold water. Okay, so I'll show you at the sink in just a second. As you can see, they're in the sink. My son picked them up and put them in there for me because everything's hot and it's hard for me to do to carry it once it's got water in it. So this is all I do in the beginning. The colander will be for after I've changed the water a few times. And you can get almost all of it. If you don't get every tablespoon of water out, it's no big deal. Now, I've probably got three or four tablespoons of water in the bottom. It won't matter. And I'm not going to bore you. Obviously, I'm going to fill this up. Uh, cover these potatoes. That'll help stop the... Uh, cooking process. Sometimes I add a couple scoops of ice. Sometimes I don't. And then we'll go from there. Uh-oh. That's blocking the disposal. Better move that. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this two or three times. You don't need to see me do it. When I've done that and they've cooled down, they're warm enough for me, I mean cool enough for me to handle, I will transfer them over here. Alright. I'll see you then. In the meantime, I have eggs to peel. And I also have celery to chop and olives to slice, but it, I'm pretty quick with it. So, all right, see you in a bit. Okie dokie. I only had to do two soaks. Soaked right. Sometimes it will take three soaks, but it's kind of a cool day here. It's kind of cooled down again a little bit. Not bad. Just uh, rainy, you know. So, anyway, sorry, bump the camera. All right, so these are cold. So, all I'm going to do is... I'm going to take some potatoes out and then I'll just drain the rest. I'll probably get the rest with the water. It's just that this is a very heavy pot for me. I'll use this as leverage and pour that through. Now I get to the edge of the colander. There you go. All right. Now, of course, now I'm going to peel these, chop them up, and when that's happened, I'll bring you back. I mentioned in another video, I don't know if it'll drop before this one or after, one, after this one, but I am multitasking. I'm shooting two videos at once. Alrighty, I'll see y'all in a bit. Still chopping celery and got to do boiled eggs now. It looks like a big mess over here, but I'll make sense of it all. I promise. Okay, um... What I have here, I have everything that I went over with you, and you'll see. I do want to show you something I do. Now, if you're making half this recipe, you won't have to worry about this. But I always take out some potatoes, just in case, and that's more about my dressing, making sure I have enough or seeing if I need to make a little more. Okay, so here's my potatoes that I'm leaving in, right? And... In goes this is I've got about four stalks of celery in here and I've got those eggs I had minus one accidentally maybe fell into my mouth so but the rest of them went in 
All right, there's that. I'm trying to make room here. Oh, I'll, I'll just have to put this right here right now. Now, I found my salad cubes, and so I'm probably going to put in. Uh, I'm going to put in about three quarters of the jar, and then we'll mix it up and we'll taste it. Next thing I have, totally optional, but I am telling y'all, if you have never tried this, please try this. And if you're not sure, just chop them up, put them to the side, and put some in a small bowl and taste them. Don't just dump them in the whole thing. But I'm telling you, all of just make the whole thing. Love them. All right, um, naturally I've got salt and pepper and paprika. Okay, and I wanted to show you something. Now, I minced an onion. This is about a medium size. And I mince it up like my mother, but I'm gonna tell you a secret. It doesn't matter even if you're using green onions to do this. We always kept our onions to the side and we sprinkled on top. Do you wanna know why? because onions can grow so strong and if you have leftover now if you're not going to have leftover just put it right in if everybody's going to eat everything but if there's leftover uh the onion especially green onion too can overpower the salad okay and you know i've told y'all already these ingredients are optional now this is a classic southern well where i come from it is and uh different areas you know Georgia southern cooking a lot of times is not like Louisiana cooking okay there it's just different so of course I live in Georgia now but they do some things different all right and that's got a good mix now I'm gonna come in and I'm not gonna put a lot I'm just gonna sprinkle a little salt this is just table salt right now and that wasn't much that probably wasn't even half a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna grind up some pepper. I'm gonna stir it well. And I'm not gonna overly pepper it because you can pepper your plate. Then I'm gonna mix this in, give it a really good mix. My mama had a potato salad bowl and I had that bowl and about, I don't know, Three or four years ago now I can't quite remember it accidentally slipped and broke into pieces I was just heartbroken it was solid and white and had little scalloped edges around it and it was about this size it was a little more shallow but a little more uh, bigger around all right now it's time for this wonderful and I tasted this again y'all it has been melding it turned out it's been not quite two hours but so it is really mixed up well in here. And now I'm going to take red and scrape all this goodness out. Sorry, you're not getting a good shot of that. I'm trying to keep out of the way. All right. And now we'll find out if I can, this might be just right. You don't want it too runny, but you don't want it too dry either looking. Look at that. Yeah, I think that's just about right. I'm just going to put a top on these and maybe throw together a little bit of breakfast hash for my husband in the morning we'll see and then the onions are going top and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna dish you up a plate I shot two videos so I'm gonna put the whole plate together and then we'll zoom in on that part of potato salad oh one more thing now you know if I was serving this naturally I would transfer this to a beautiful bowl and I probably will for the pitcher or at least the serving of it and then you know you gotta have the paprika on it right and if I had green onions I'd have uh, a green onion I would just cut it long ways 
and then have it just kind of fanned out and put put on there you know you're serving it too and you do use olives you know you can also just now this isn't perfect but you can garnish with olives too see that all right well i'll dish up a pretty serving of it and that'll be the picture for the video and just remember you know you're going to sprinkle onions on it so probably when i have the plate fixed you'll see that part on there okay all right i'll see you in a minute yum 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 i hope you'll make some love y'all bye